Hi, my name is Dennis Engel. I'm a professor at Mohawk College. Today I want to talk about co-op. In particular, I want to talk about entrepreneurship co-op. Meaning, we're not going to go work for an employer, we're going to try and be an entrepreneur. But it's a very long and hard word to say, so instead of entrepreneurship co-op, I just want to call it e-co-op. And that's a little bit shorter and a little bit easier to say, but a little bit tricky to understand. So I'm trying to make this video to make things easy, to show students what their opportunities are and what their options are. Well, in the past, here's what happens. A student in their term of academic term gets prepared by the co-op department. We go through resumes, interview techniques, applying for jobs, the online job posting board, and all those kinds of things to prepare them to get a job for a traditional employer. Then the student applies to the employer and gets a co-op position for the term following their academic term. And then the student works there typically for 14 weeks, four months, learns some skills, has some experiences about what it's like to work in their field, and that makes them better prepared for more academic studies and makes them better prepared to get a job when they graduate. One problem is there aren't enough employers to go around. Another problem is some students don't want to go work for somebody when they graduate. They want to work for themselves. So if you're in media studies, do you want to go work for a big media conglomerate or do you want to stay at home, start your own little business and do wedding photography for money for other people and start your own business, Weddings Are Us? It could work, but working for another company may not prepare you for some of the skills you need to be an entrepreneur. So what we want to do is we want the students to go through the same co-op preparedness, co-op prep. We want you to learn how to have an interview, make a resume, but also how to assess your skills and learn what's required to be an entrepreneur. But one option is not to go work for an employer, but rather to stay at home. So the student can stay home, work on your own business idea for the 14 weeks or four months, and maybe you can come up with a great business idea, maybe you can come up with something that's innovative, maybe you can even start your business and make some money while you're at home to help you through school in the other academic pro terms that are going to happen after your co-op. In a nutshell, that's what e-co-op is all about. And hopefully that helps students when they graduate to be an entrepreneur and to make their own money and have their own job. I'm Dennis Engel and that's what an e-co-op is all about.